We're now going to look at importing some DWG data. DWG formats files are often given to surveyors to set out roads, structures or boundary lines, but there's some important things to keep in mind when you read in a DWG file. First of all, DWG files don't have a null height value, so they give everything a height of either 0 or minus 999. And this in 12D is actually a height, so if you were to triangulate it, you could cause some major problems. Secondly, a polyline doesn't convert to alignment string very clearly because of rounding errors. And so if you were to just use the convert option, it wouldn't work. We therefore have a separate option which is designed to convert and also to filter these strings when they're converted. Also, DWG files don't have vertical geometry, so therefore they don't know what a vertical curve is. So when you read in a 3D DWG file for a road surface setout, when you import the polyline, you're better off to delete the heights and recreate the vertical geometry once it's been converted to an alignment. To start off with, we're just going to set up our workspace so that it is ready for setting out. So we can go to the workspaces Go down to the second last one, set out, and select that. You can see we get two new toolbars open up, the first one to do with setting out and the second one to do with plotting. We're now going to import our data, our DWG file. So using the import toolbar, we hold that down and go to DWG. We can then select the file, which will be one level up from where we're working and it's called subdivision.dwg. We don't need to give it a mapping file, but when we read in our data, it's a good idea to give it some kind of prefix so we can separate it from any other data that's in there. And I'll just call this dwg, and then some kind of date recognition, so 0.13.08.28, and a space. And then our null level value, rather than minus 999, I'm going to type in zero so that 12d will attempt to null any heights of zero and then I can just click on read. You'll note that it'll ask us if it found any new line styles if you want to save them in this case we'll just say no and you'll also if I close this panel down notice that our data was read into a new plan view called data input this is also part of the customization. It allows us to very quickly and easily check that what was read in is what that we were after. Once we've done the check, we can close that plan down and open up our data in plan view number one. And you'll notice that everything has the prefix DWG and then the date.